If you want to prototype like a pro, you need to try this tool. Today, I show you how you can take your Figma designs and turn it into a pixel perfect code in seconds. All you need to do is copy your Figma link. It's called bold.new and honestly, it's the first startup I've seen that is making developers kinda nervous. Because compared to other tools, they are the only one that taken the real software that developers actually use and made them accessible to everyone. Let me show you. So here I have a simple pricing card I designed in Figma and usually I would have to wait for developers to code it. But instead, I can just select my frame in Figma, right click and then click copy paste, copy link to selection, drop it in bold and that's it. That's it, I have ready prototype. We can take it further and I can tweak the copy just by typing change 19 to 49 or I can ask to duplicate this card and maybe call it a premium tier. Bold updates instantly. And the thing I love the most is we can actually test the interactions. So we can ask to add some hover animation. We can ask to transition between screens, transition between sections, and it all just works. Obviously you can preview this on multiple devices such as desktop, tablet, and mobile. And this isn't static rectangle anymore. It's a working prototype, like truly working. <laughs> now, before we go bigger, here is a few tips how you can prepare your Figma designs for the smooth import to bold. First of all, you're gonna name your frames and layers properly. So instead of frame 101728, we're gonna call this navigation. Then you wanna use auto layout as much as possible in your designs. So the bold will understand how to resize your layout on different devices. You can turn your frames into a component or even better, you can create a design system because Bolt can actually read your design system and add different states accordingly. I think I wish someone told me when I was starting, when clients or stakeholders were asking me, can we actually click through it? Right now, it's possible. You can just send them a link. All right, this is when Bolt 2.0 really flexes. These things used to be locked away in command terminal or GitHub repos, the stuff that we as a designer don't have access to it and just don't understand. But now you can access all of them literally in your browser. First up, we got the payment. So I can type add Stripe checkout to this pricing page. And now we got the real working checkout flow. Next, we got the databases. So Bolt connects with the Superbase which, by the way, is the same stack that Uber or Stripe use. So instead of faking lorem ipsum, we can now plug in the real data. And last, my favorite, which is the cloud code. So if you ever had idea for some application or just mini fun game, you can make sure it's written properly because cloud code scan for all the errors and fix them immediately. So we can say, make me a settings page with a profile photo and notification toggle and the cloud gonna build it. Stick around because in a minute, I'm going to show you how I use this to import a whole landing pages. So when we design in Figma, for example, a registration or login flow, we can't really test the validation. We can't test input. We can't test authentication. We cannot test the errors. It looks real, but it's fake. So here is my login screen and I'm going to drop it into bold. Next, I'm gonna ask you to remove the placeholder text and remove with actual working inputs. We can ask it if the field is empty to show an error or to validate if the email address is in a correct format. And the best thing is with just one extra prompt, you can connect it to Superbase and got a real authentication. So now we can test the rare edge cases that we usually forget to design in Figma, like Google sign in, forgot password, multi-factor authentication and much more. And now we can test those before we even involve devs in our project. Okay, so here is a landing page I designed earlier in Figma. I prepared everything with auto layout and usually something like this would take maybe a day for developers to code. With Bolt, we can of course paste the link and it's live. I can tweak it with prompts so I can say, make the hero button blue or add a gradient background, animate text on scroll, and it instantly updates. But the real power is we can keep the original layout, duplicate that, ask Bolt to change the hero section to something else, 
and then we can do A-B tests with real users. So we can set up a heat maps, track clicks and run usability tests because it's live. So you can use Bold as a prototype tool or you can actually build sites because the code is clean, production ready and deployable. And here is why this workflow is so important for designers. First of all, you can prototype faster. It's done in minutes, not in days. You can test with real data, inputs, and no fake click-through. You can ship the MVPs that feels like real product, but the main reason is this workflow gonna replace classic prototyping in maybe one or two years time. So if you know this already and you practice this already, you're gonna be ahead of 90% of designers. We can already see the shift in the industry. The job listing requires from you to have some AI knowledge in order to do your work, such as generating assets, images, video, generating content. And now this will be added. AI not gonna replace us, it's gonna simply speed up our processes. And the biggest currency for designers will be their creative mind. <laughs> and also you will need to know how to write a very specific prompt so you get the best results from AI. But that's for another video. So developers already using cloud code to speed up their process. They use it for refactoring, checking errors or referencing. So when you handle them a prototype written by cloud code, the same software they already using, they be ready to plug in in their code immediately. Of course, Bolt isn't only the tool for designers, developers or product managers. It's for anyone who don't know how to code and want to ship something real. The gap between designers and developers is merging, and I see it at my work, when more often I get asked to ship landing pages instead of taking the precious developer time. So whether you're prototyping, testing, or actually building, Bold 2.0 make it possible. As always, if you have any comments, leave them down below, hit like and subscribe, and I see you in the next one. Bye!